What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Camp Fats Daily Vlog. Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Another sunny day in the great state of Ohio. Just looking off my back porch here. I'm telling you guys. Alright, I'll run to the store. Get a couple things. Oh uh, man, hope I don't get my camera soaked. Uh, I'll tell you what happened, it's crazy. Freaking. Man, I freaking left my window down. It freaking started raining. I ran water all over my seat. I have a question for you guys. What do you think of pride? See, pride's a really weird word to me because it has negative connotations and it has positive connotations. Like if I, if I read the definition for it to you, um, you can see that it says, pride is an inwardly directed emotion that carries two antithetical meanings. With a negative connotation, pride refers to a foolishly and irrationally corrupt sense of one's personal value, status, or accomplishments used synonymously with hubris. With a positive connotation, pride refers to a humble and content sense of attachment towards one own or another's choices and actions or towards a whole group of people and is a product of praise, independent self-reflection, and a fulfilled sense or a fulfilled feeling of belonging. It's really interesting. It's a word that has a duality to it, you know, and it's used in both ways. And some people see the word pride as being a very negative word and some people see it as being a very positive word. And often it's just based off of the context of how we're using it. It's a really funny word. And there's other words out there that have dual meanings like that. But just pride is one of those special words because it has a dual meaning uh, and both meanings are like almost the same, you know? I mean, it's like, you can take pride in your work, but then like, the pride you take in your work, that can turn into a negative. Like, somehow that destroys what you've done because you became too prideful. You know what I mean? It's really weird. It's like, the, the two meanings of pride can morph into each other. It's, it's really, really weird. King James Version of the Bible, Book of Proverbs 1618, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. James 4, 6, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Peter 5, 5, King James Version. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye, all of you, be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. It's all over the Bible, you know what I mean? Here's the proverb, pride becomes before the fall. A person who is proud will often suffer a setback or failure. So there's a lot of negative connotation with pride, um, and yet you see people using pride in a positive way all over the place. You know, and, and I bring it up, guys, and it's been on my mind today because, you know, I am a very proud person, you know, and, and sometimes it's to a fault. You know, sometimes being proud gets in my way. Um, I'm very proud of the work that I do. Um, I'm very proud of, you know, accomplishments that I've done. Um, and, you know, I think 
that you have to kind of take pride in your work when you're an entrepreneur. I mean, you have to want to do a good job so that you can reach or attain this level of excellence that you're trying to achieve or attain. However, in your quest for efficacy or your quest for achieving excellence, sometimes your pride can turn into like a really negative thing. Sometimes you react on a hair trigger. Sometimes, you know, people can't say anything to you. Can't tell me nothing. Like the Kanye West song, can't tell me nothing. And I feel like that many times. Can't tell me nothing. Um, many, many times I can be easily offended by the things that people say. Um, and that is my pride getting in the way sometimes of my progress. And it's interesting, you know. I read an interesting article by Jeff Winters over there on St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Uh, it's called Straight from the Heart, The Negative Side of Pride. One word in the English language describes almost every problem that almost everyone will face or faces. That word is pride. Pride is a short five-letter word, yet when it is placed into action, it destroys everything in its path. Pride will destroy homes. Pride will destroy love for others. Pride will destroy nations. Great and small nations are affected by this attitude. Important and insignificant people will be affected by pride and foolish actions of prideful individuals. Pride is like a giant boulder ro rolling down a mountainside. It destroys everything in its path, and no one is immune to it. So each person must look within himself or herself and keep this emotion under control, because pride will cause people to speak when they should not, act when it is inappropriate, and hurt others who are dear to them. A prideful person is defined in the negative way as one that has an unduly high opinion of oneself. It is one who is arrogant and one who seems haughty. But pride also has a positive side. When a person has dignity and self-respect, it also means that it is okay to have satisfaction in something that one has done or even in something that is owned. It's okay to have satisfaction in something you've done. It's okay to have satisfaction in something you own. Now look, me personally, the house that we own, we bought this house last August, and I have to say I'm quite proud of it because, you know, I bought it completely with independent, self-made income. And I'm very proud of that fact. And I guess you could say that's a positive. But I could see where that pride could morph into a negative. You know, so it's, it's, it's really interesting. Man needs to have wisdom to live, and the book of Proverbs teaches this. In Proverbs 8.13, we learn to have reference for God and that we must hate evil, pride, and arrogance. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance. In the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. In Proverbs 13.10, we learn that contentions and quarrels come about due to prideful attitudes. In Proverbs 29.23, we are told that due to a man's pride, he will be brought down. Due to a man's pride, he will be brought down. Pride, like many other things that God condemns, comes from within man. That area in us is our heart. Everything we do and everything we say stem from our heart. Proverbs 4.23, have we ever stopped to notice in the middle letter of the word pride, just like in the word sin, the middle letter is I. Could it be said that pride and sin are always what I want to do, think, and act? The one thing that will stop a family from healing is a prideful attitude of a family member. The one thing that will stop communication is a prideful attitude. But on the positive side, the one thing that will help us all to heal from the hurt of another is being proud of God's word. It will lead all men to the knowledge and the true truth. A family can be proud that it stands together and is united all because they are proud of each member in the family. However, care and constant lookout will need to be done to ensure Satan will not try to tempt God's people to have the negative side of pride. I got, like, 
that's a good article, you know? It's a great article, and it's just interesting because pride is not just a word with two definitions. It's a word with a duality to it. It's a word with one definition that morphs between negative and positive. It's like pride has one definition, and that definition could be negative or positive. It's a tricky word. It's a complex word. It's a dynamic word, you know? In my business, like, one of the uh, things that I hate doing the most, I mean the absolute most, I hate uh, doing JV recruitment. I really don't like doing it. I know how to do it. I can do it really well when I want to, um, but I don't really like to. And uh, sometimes I just slack off with it because I don't like doing it. And with JV recruitment, the idea basically is that you go around to a bunch of other people that do the same thing that you do, and you ask them to promote something for you, some something of yours. Uh, for this, usually you pay them, and you pay them a lot. You pay them a lot of money. Um, usually you give them a commission, 100%, 75%. You give them a lot. Um, but even though you're paying them, what you have to understand is in the make money online space, there are tons of options. There's tons of options. People are putting out new products every single day. So like the advantage is to the influencers that you're asking to promote for you. So just paying them is not enough. You know what I mean? It's, it's not enough. So like it creates this sense of, favor like when you ask them to do something for you it's a favor because they could go promote anything but you're trying to get them to promote your thing so essentially you know JV recruitment is going around to 100 200 300 different people who are all influencers in your space and asking asking them to help support your promotion now for someone like me that's really really difficult because I don't like asking people for help <laughs> that's pride you know what I mean it's pride like I'm so prideful I don't like asking people for help I don't want people thinking I need help I mean and and that is um, you know it's a weakness you know to be to be honest it's just, it's a weakness is all it is and you know uh, I'll give you an example you know um, like I, I would uh, I have, a, I have a, a, a bush that I have to cut down on my house. Um, it's a big lilac bush, you know, and I need a chainsaw to cut it down. Now, I know like three different people with chainsaws. My next door neighbor's got a chainsaw. Um, you know, my father-in-law has a chainsaw. I know a couple other people who have chainsaws. I'm on good terms with all of them. All of them would let me borrow their chainsaw, no problem. Um, and like I would rather – go to the store, buy myself a chainsaw to cut that lilac bush down, then, and, and then take that chainsaw and just set it in my garage. And it'll just set in here because I have no use for a chainsaw. I don't need a chainsaw for anything. I, literally, I have one lilac bush that needs to cut down. I, I'll cut the lilac bush down. The chainsaw will just set in my garage for like five years until like, I have need for the chainsaw again. I don't need a chainsaw. Um, but I would literally – rather go to the store and buy a chainsaw for that one purpose than actually borrow a chainsaw from anyone like and that that's just straight pride man and like on that level i can see where that's pretty stupid so i mean i recognize that as a weakness and maybe you're out there and you're watching this vlog and uh you can relate to that on some level maybe you understand what that feels like um and if you do man all I can say to you is, hey, man, keep grinding, you know. Um, none of us have it all figured out yet. You know, we all have our problems. We all have our weaknesses. All we can do is, you know what, man, all we can do is, you know, reach every day and try to get a little bit better, you know. So we all have our problems. Nobody's perfect. We're all trying to overcome things, you know. But, yeah, pride is a big one for me, man, and it's a word that has a lot of positive and a lot of negative attached to it. It's helped me succeed so much, and it's also burned so many bridges for me. It's not just a word with two different meanings. It's a word 
with one meaning that can mean two different things. You know, I'm a person who works really, really hard, and I find myself struggling with things like pride every day, you know. Um, I'm one of those people who um, I work really hard at what I do, and I take a lot of pride in what I do, um, and I don't like hearing negative criticism from people. I don't. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, when, when someone says something to me, and I feel like they're speaking from, they're speaking about something they don't know, they don't know what they're talking about, um, and they're trying to tell me something, it's like, I feel like, dude, you can't tell me nothing. What are you talking about? You don't even know, you, you, you haven't been where I've been, you don't know what I know, you don't do what I do, how could you possibly be trying to tell me? Are you joking me? And I think that's wrong. You know, you shouldn't feel like just because someone hasn't done what you've done or doesn't do what you do or doesn't have the experience that you have, that they shouldn't be allowed to have an opinion. Everybody should be able to have an opinion. But I've been guilty of having so much pride that I don't want to hear it from anybody who hasn't been where I've been or done what I've done or seen what I've seen. I don't want to hear your opinions. You know, and that's that's prideful. That's very prideful. And that's a negative side of pride because that closes my mind off to other people who might might have something to say. They might have something of value. You know, they, they might have a good suggestion. Um, so it's interesting. And that's something I struggle with every day. Um, among other things. <laughs> but I think tonight I just wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit. What do you guys think of pride? What What is your idea of pride? Because, like, to me, like, pride and what I do, it has been an integral part of my success. But it's also burned a lot of bridges for me. My pride has burned a lot of bridges for me with people who could have helped me, um, with people who w were friends, uh, with people who were higher up than me who really could have really helped my career. Um, but pride, you know, got in my way and, you know, I chose to blow up and be offended about things that I probably really should have been cool about and kept my cool about, didn't need to be offended about it. So it's funny. It definitely has that one meaning that has created positive things in my life, but it's also created negative things in my life. And it's not just in my business, it's also in my personal life. Um, it, I can just trace it back throughout my entire life. Uh, pride has always been uh, a problem. And it's, it's okay, uh, because it's, it's like a gift and a curse, you know what I mean? Like, pride drives me, you know? Pride has driven me, uh, and pride has also held me back. But it's an interesting word, you know, and I've just been pondering it a lot today. And I just wanted to know what you guys think about pride. Do any of you struggle with pride? Do any of you have problems with things like this that have this duality to them? This one meaning with a duality to it. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Pride. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. That's all I got for today. Hope you guys are all doing amazing and, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace, everybody.